Hello, 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 everybody. We are continuing our adventures into Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Blue Rescue Team. We took a bit of a break from this because Pokemon Legends Arceus came out, and I absolutely adored that game and just went again and again and again. And I just did not let up at all because it's such a marvelous experience. But since it's been a bit since we've seen this screen, because I've also like continued from within the game, because the unknown dungeon. Huh, I forgot about that. Let's see. Adventure log. Reached the hill of the ancients, took to the road as fugitives. The rescue team base was completed. Thirty-five moves were learned. Ten Pokemon joined the team. Three hundred and forty-six floors were explored. And that's it. Ah, there. It says that we've had fifty adventures and defeated Zapdos, Moltres, and Articuno. Well, let us see. Still no apples, but we still do have water, and there seems to be ah, <laughs> a map of the world. I forget if I pointed that out before or not, but by the way, I'll need to remember how to do, like, throw rocks and use moves, but we will see. I forget. I forget where we're going. Yeah. <laughs> I do forget where we're going. Ah, oh, we only have one list of Dilly. Hmm, Frosty Forest. Do we have other Frosty Forests? Well, we have one other Frosty Forest. But I'm not sure if we want it. I'm trying to, I'm trying to think. Oh yeah, we're gonna go down and fight Groudon. That's where we left off. <laughs> A hilarious thing. Okay, let's see. We have a bunch of Reviver Seeds. We have a uh, Max Elixir, a bunch of uh, Diddly D, uh, three apples, because I'm going to be wearing my... Oh, that's actually a thing I should probably think about. Because I have my stamina band. I should probably bring a power band. Yes, that would just flood our entire thing. Yeah, it's like, for a moment, it's just like, okay, Shane is there, so we're obviously going to go do a mission, a story mission. What is the story mission? And then, it was like, oh yeah, we ended at the, the best place. The absolute best place to end. Which is... Where's my power band? Did I, I sure, surely I did not sell all my power bands. Ah, uh, power band. I have many of them. I'll take one power band so that if I, uh, so we can lay the smack down on enemies. Basically, it depends how strong enemies are and, uh, everything, okay? But me, Shane, and Fate. Let's go. Okay, all set. We should both get a good night's sleep. And we'll set out tomorrow. Oh boy, nightmare time. Nightmare, nightmare, nightmare. I'm in that dream again. Gardevoir? It's tomorrow, isn't it? That you take to that underground dungeon. Yes, they make it sound like one terrible place. I wonder if we'll be okay. You will be. I'm certain that you will succeed, Neon. You have my support. Please, go with strength. I will. Thank you. I'm feeling a little braver now. I'll go for it. By the way, Gardevoir, do you know what it's like underground? Or what Groudon is like? No. I'm sorry to say, I can't envision it. Okay. I thought maybe you knew something, the way you said it. No, I only wanted to give you encouragement. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, no. That's fine, too. 
I'm happy you tried to cheer me up. Thank you. But there is one thing that I can foresee. Huh? Your role is coming to its end little by little. My role is ending. You became a Pokemon in order to fulfill a certain role, and that role brought you here. Now that role is finally drawing to its close. Gardevoir, tell me, what is my role? Why did I become a Pokemon? When the time comes, I think I can tell you when this adventure is finished. Au revoir. Ah, France exists. I knew it. This is just France. The next morning. <laughs> no comments on the dream today. Good morning, Neon. Did you sleep well? Okay, this is it. Let's do our best and save Alakazam's team. Gardevoir said she will tell me everything when this adventure is over. Is going underground the adventure she meant? Will she tell me if we rescue Alakazam's team? Hello? Are you asleep still? Let's get going. Da la 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 la. I love the music. Well, let's see. Uh, Fate is still in the team. So let's go to Magma Cavern. That's interesting that Uproar Forest is technically after Magma Cavern. But okie doke. Magma Cavern we go. Da 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 da. La 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 la. And this must be it. Groudon is in, the, in, is in this underground cavern. Ugh, look at the streams of lava. It's gonna be scorching hot in the dungeon, I think. There should be other rescue teams making their way through even now. Let's try our best like always. Well, that's funny. All right, oop. Uh-huh. Now let's see, is this the button? It is for my combo! For my super sexy ultra combo. Whoop! Let's see, what other move? I still have Shadow Ball. Oh, well, but it won't go through. I can't do that. So instead, I throw a rock. Damn it. Hmm, I forgot that I taught myself Shadow Ball. Oh, but I love this music! Like the higher pitched diddly followed by like the Oh hey, it's the dude. Yeah, smack him up. Ah welcome. Ah, so we could have bought things from him before, but hmm. Let's see. Gold ribbon. But a gold ribbon is only as good as, like, actually selling it. So why would you ever buy a gold ribbon? Yeah, since we found it so fast, we'll explore a little bit. Oh, hey, a sand shrew. At least with sand shrew. I should be able to destroy them easily if they can only do one damage to me. I think I healed up all my damage during combat. Which is hilarious to me. <laughs> you ever have somebody punch you in combat and then before their fist has even come back? Okay, ow. Ow. I am in much pain. This one must die. love this music. <laughs> it has that nice charm to it. It isn't... Oop. Hello. Destroy. <laughs> like, there's no comparing it to, like, uh, Legends Arceus music when it really gets going, but this is a DS game, and it has, still has that kind of... Uh, I'm thinking... I'm trying to think of the word... 
trying to properly think of the word, but I can't. <laughs> like, uh, synthy? Like, uh, yeah, kind of synthy. Music. Leave the boy alone! Ah, right, crap. Kill the man! Save the boy! Save the world! Yeah, there's just like... This doesn't... There isn't anything really like... Kind of, uh, synth... Instruments... In, uh, like, DS games. There's just something about it. The selection. This sounds so good. Hey, Iron Thorns. Or you can just annihilate them. I kind of want to speed through so that we don't use up all our apples. But we have a decent amount of belly left thanks to my stamina band. So I shouldn't have to worry about much. I forgot you could do that around corners. Even if you are kind of wasting them. Against Nido Kings and Nido Queens, sure. It's just a circle. All these squares make a circle. Ah, uh, shit. Kill the queen! Well, you don't have to... Sh you don't have to shoot the queen. That's if we overkill. And just another roundabout. Well, we might as well kill the roundabout. How dare you kick me. You ever see a giant Nido King just, like, kick an Eevee and the Eevee just, like, basically just looks annoyed? That's... I feel like that's what happened there. Oh. You think we all? Yes, chomp. <laughs> the queen cringed. Shadow ball. Shit. My one of you, shadow ball. Why is it accuracy so terrible? And since we're right on top of the. Uh, the exit. You bastard. Well, that kind of puts us on a bit of a time limit. Hello, bastard man. Kind of puts us on a time limit because I don't want to spend too much time poisoned wandering about, but hey. Ooh, a gummy. We'll kill you and take the gummy for ourselves. A gray gummy. It's been so long, I'm, there's no way I'm going to remember which of the vaguely silver clear gummies is the one. Rock type. I'll give it to you. Because why not? Throw! Yes. Of course. <laughs> I was just like, ah, we'll let that one live. Let's just get on and get rid of this poison. Shane was like, no. That Sandshrew must die. We're just spawning into all of these. I wonder if that's like a difficulty feature. If they just decided, hey, let's have uh, the stairs and exits and stuff appear more likely or more likely to appear right on top of the player. Well, that's annoying. Uh, for story missions, just so that they, if they don't bring enough apples, they are less likely to faint out. Because it feels like it's happening every other floor. Kill! I just got over being poisoned, and now you kick me? How dare you? This is why we say down with the queen. Oh no, it's a rock. Bah! Kill it! That works. Like, no, no, that doesn't work. Shane, why? Now fate is wandering around scared. <laughs> Shane, you moron. No, not, not Shane, but fate. There you are. Come back into the train. 
We got sidetracked because fate wanted to wander back. Oh, and it's gonna happen again, isn't it? For a moment, it's like, why didn't, uh, why didn't the, the, hey, you are suffering a down debuff ability. Why didn't that go away? And then it went away, and I don't know what to think. I'm just vibing out to this game, so I'm tr having a hard time. Fate, why? Oh, because an enemy spawned in there. And since we're in a tunnel, I guess. <laughs> it's just like, the fate was already wandering away. It's been going on for so long now. This single floor. Let's get off this accursed floor of fate wandering away. Honestly, I should use more spikes. Since I have so many spikes, we're just stumbling upon the exits now. Sometimes... Sometimes the exits are, like, super hard to find. Other times... I forgot that restructures areas. That was very rude. You... Oh no, it's gonna exp Okay, never mind. He just <laughs> Shane decided to nuke the goal of the Graveler. Where are you all coming from? That is my question, Shadow Ball. Ah! All my Shadow Balls have been... Bastard die. Alright, this is the day of exploding... Oh no! Okay, good. <laughs> he decided to nuke it. Again. I just take a look, I see a Graveler, and it's just like, these motherfuckers are gonna explode me to death. Ooh, look at this. Nice. The change in tile set looks really cool. Hmm, Silver Gummy, which will this be? Silver Gummy, Silver Gummy, what do you bring? Steel type. I forget. I honestly, what even a type are you, Fate? I don't know. I don't know your typing. So here. Have it. Status checker. And, uh, since I am hot shit, I will eat the red gummy. Self-curer. Uh, let's see what that is, because it's been five billion years, and I don't know if Shane already has that. That probably does, and I looked at it and be like, oh my god, that's great. Self-cure information. Recovers faster from status effects. Why would I not want that on? That should be automatically yes, please. Please don't. Please don't anger it. But we must kill it now. Quick and fast. When it comes to gravelers, we cannot let them bite. Info. Inflicts damage on the target may inflict cringe. Hmm. But I gave myself Shadow Ball, so I think I'll forget Bite for now. My abilities, uh, or my stats block was worse than... Why? We have to make sure he dies here and now, because I'm not sure if he can... Oh, fuck. Kill. Get in here, kill! <laughs> this impro improvised room of doom. Caused by a Graveler just deciding to explode. Oh, now I need to be careful. Because if they get within one tile of me, they just may decide, Okay, time for you to die. That's why they hide in the dark. Because they they want to... 
You know, I find it funny it's the Gravelers that are doing all the exploding. Ow. Why? <laughs> it's the Gravelers doing all the exploding, and not like... freaking electrodes. This is gonna suck, unless I can kill him in one go! Whew. That was close. It wouldn't have killed me, I don't think. But I didn't want to risk it. Oh, it's a Mawile! I like Mawile. I don't... What generation was Mawile introduced in? I don't know. I think they're a fairy steel type nowadays. But back then, they probably would have just been steel normal. But yeah, I like Mawile. How dare you. Now you can ember the grass type as you are meant to do. Why me? I'm not even super affected against that. What is wrong with you? I'm going to throw rocks from here because it's probably better use of my time. Rock from downtown. With the people's rock. You've heard of the people's elbow. Now get ready for the people's rock. It's just the rock, but he's a communist. Our rock. And since you're a big explodey boy, I'm gonna murder you. Also, because you're a jerk. And nothing to hear, so let's... Why did you punch me? That's my least favorite thing! One, one, one! Yes. Why me? I am not! It's like, I will never know why. It's just like, looks at me. Ah, the normal type Eevee. You will make a perfect person to just try and stinking annihilate with Ember. The grass Pokemon, no. Oh, hey, an apple. We must kill this small while and take its apple. It is now my apple. My apple and my apple alone. That, that that sounds like it would be a children's book. My apple. You can smog me. You can punch me. How does it feel that me just throwing myself at you, not even using tackle, is more powerful than your actual moves? Hey, rocks. How does it feel that me throwing a rock at you does more damage than you using a move on me? <laughs> How does it feel that fire punching a Pokemon that is weak to fire doesn't even do four damage? Shane, you are a badass. All those Pokemon that were like, I can't go into this underground lava cavern. I just burn up. Meanwhile, unevolved Trico saying, hey, you know what? Screw you. I'm going to go in there. Ah, oh, fuck, I, I meant to throw a rock. I'm a failure. But yeah, he's going in there. He's going to hit fire types of grass moves, and they're going to fall in one hit. Meanwhile, he will tank, tank a fire punch to the face and be like, please, sir, try again. Lol. You are a failure. Here, how about a rock? How about a rock? No, 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 I insist. Rock. No, no, no. Rock. How do you... Rock. <laughs> that was stupid. I love it. He's just like, Ah, oh, there are enemies there. I'll... <laughs> hey, he was acting like a typical aimbot streamer. Oh, I... Oh, dear God. <laughs> Those streamers that use aimbot while on stream. He's just like, I'm gonna shoot where I know an enemy is even though I can't actually see them right in front of me. And even then, they just keep failing. Woot woot. You ever want to just face punch lava? 
you see lava, and you decide, headbutt. And then you win. Hello, Mawile. Too bad you're not open to joining the team. Boop. Boop. You know, sweet scent. That's a little weird. Kill. I just realized something. But after I drink water. That's funny. Wait, black gummy? Ah, ghost type. Or dark type, one or the other. But I wonder if uh, Sylveon had existed in this generation when they were making the the first two Mystery Dungeon games. Well, technically, uh, I guess first two. How dare you use my signature move? My Rocky Road! But I wonder if uh, Sylveon existed when they were making Rescue and Explorers. If, like, how they would handle the evolution process. And then I don't think Eevee is a hero or partner Pokemon until... Like, no, I don't even think Eevee appears for Super Mystery Dungeon. Come along. Come, 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 come along now. Go away from the humdrum. Lol. You are a failure. You are the biggest failure. You throw spikes at me. I throw me at you. We are not the same. Hmm. Silver gummy. We already have a lot of gummies. Let's move on. Besides, this is a story mission. And we are... We want to save our apples. Okay, just tons of gummies. Hey, let's, let's split the fire gummy. You can have this gummy. Ooh, Type Advantage Master. Which means he'll probably try to not use moves that are, like, not effective. Let's see. Check IQ. Type Advantage Master. The Pokemon's critical hit rate is boosted when attacking foes with a type advantage. Or disadvantage, whichever. We get the gist. You're gonna explode. Kill. Your Graveler origins are still in there. I know about you. <laughs> Wild Pokemon. Sue is Team Shining. Assumed I would use self-destruct just because I evolved from Graveler. Imagine throwing piles of rocks at an Eevee, and it barely flinches. <laughs> Hello, Nightmare Man. How dare you. You didn't even shrink. Which is extra hilarious, considering... Cons Stop that! Considering the lore implications of Pokemon Legends Arceus. Oh, are almost out. Oh, Jesus, I've been overusing it. Well, first, let's see. Oh, I have been overusing it. Oh, no! That's why I brought a Max Elixir. Will also mean that uh, running into Pokemon with self-destruct is going to be terrifying. You can minimize all you like. You still die. You can't minimize your chances of a uh, living. Which I guess you could minimize your chances of living by dying, but you know. You do you. Kill the golem. I keep forgetting that golem is a Pokemon. Like, for, like it doesn't help that I have, like, keep forgetting that Graveler really exists. Oh, another tile change. It looks like gold. I like gold. I really like the look of it. And now we're just gonna have to... Now we're just gonna have to worry about how dangerous Groudon will be. Because 
It's entirely possible that Groudon will just rock our shit. And that's why we have four Reviver Seeds. Quit cringing me. Thank God that I leveled up before coming here. Or, like, leveled up a decent bit before coming to do this mission. Because, uh... Fury Attack! Huh? Fury Attack! Nightmare. Nightmare, nightmare. Me no likey. I do not likey. Fury Attack on a Pokemon with enough... freaking damage? Worst thing in the world. I think that's one of the times that I actually lost a Reviver Seed. Me, myself. Throw rocks at the Eevee all you like. Quit wasting Screech! Fine, you want to kill him so much? You do it and I'll throw rocks from the side. And I guess while we're going through here, some interesting happy news. I got, uh, there's this game that uh, I've been interested in ever since uh, Dead, Bef Dead Before Daylight just pissed me off to five billion different degrees. It's another asymmetrical, uh, asymmetrical horror-themed game where there are four teenagers who must go up against a monster. And right now, uh, the game uh, VHS, the game that I've been waiting for that I got beta access to, has three monsters, a werewolf, a... Uh, Kind of like bio, ooh, like a bio monster, aquatic creature, kind of a more monstrous uh, man from the Black Lagoon thing, or yeah, thing from the Black Lagoon thing, like that. Mm. And uh, then the Doll Master, which is like if Chucky was an old man, like uh, <laughs> a hunched over old man that sent out many Chuckies to do his bidding. I haven't played the Doll Master yet because it scares me. Not in like an actual, oh, I'm scared, but uh, <laughs> basically if I tried to use it, I'd probably lose. <laughs> Let's see, agility. Boosts by one level the movement speed of the user and teammates in the same room. But I like you doing damage. That's the thing, I like you doing damage. And besides, we can always remember it later at the Gulp and Link shop. And, uh, yeah. I've only played a few uh, games of uh, VHS so far. And uh, it really is pulse-pounding for me, even when playing as the monster. And I just, I love it. I love it so far. The game seems decently balanced. But granted, that's me saying it after I crush all the... Uh, teens that I have come across, but that's also partly due to the fact that it's new-ish and they're sending waves of keys and while there is a skill-based matchmaking, something that people just hate in Dead by Daylight, I think it's working pretty decent because the first game I played as Werewolf I absolutely dominated. The second game I played as, and like, uh, slowly but surely, every victory seems like the teens get slightly better. Even though there was the one time there was like a level 39 teen and a bunch of level 1s. That was kind of funny. Eh, we'll kill this dude. Hey, maybe I should stream uh, VHS sometime. That might be a thing. It's like, a, I just want to have fun. Let's do it. But who knows, who knows? Who, 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 who knows? You will not take the gummy from me! Get over there, kill. Never mind. Shane wanted the murder. And we're leveling up a lot already. Just in here. Man, my stat blocks are terrible. Horrific stat blocks. Jesus. And I guess while we do this, I'll, uh, since, uh... Funnily enough, despite the fact that this series, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Blue Rescue Team, was started before I played uh, Pokemon Legends Arceus, I decided to go ahead and upload the Legends Arceus stuff basically as fast as possible because it's a new game. Maybe the algorithm will choose me. The claw. You know how it goes. But, uh, but, uh, 
Shadow Ball, I guess. Yeah, I really like Pokemon Legends Arceus. Pokemon Legends Arceus is uh, probably one of my favorite Pokemon games now. I still think I prefer Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, uh, Rescue Team, and Explore a bit more, just because, I don't know, it vibes with me a bit more. There is a bit of annoying things with Legends Arceus here or there. Some of the mechanics are a little weird or underutilized. But I love the story. The overall gameplay I really like. Oh, dear God. Shadow Ball. Yay. I didn't want to risk that bastard, man, getting any hits in. But yeah, really like Legends Arceus. Hope they make more of, uh, like, more in that vein. Really hope that they make more in that kind of style. would be super cool if they did. Granted, I would also like it if they had another awesome, amazing Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. But at the same time, who can I... What, who am I to say anything since I didn't buy uh, Rescue Team DX Remake yet? I'll probably get it eventually, maybe. But right now, I have yet to kill. You need to kill it, my man. You need to kill that monster. It'll annihilate you. If it uses a move, you will die! Oh, dear God. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, if there isn't another Pokemon Mystery Dungeon game anytime soon, I'm probably to blame. Because, like, eh, for whatever reason, I just didn't feel like grabbing the remake. Just yet. I'll probably grab it in the future. But that's my response to a lot of things. Maybe in the future I'll do the thing. <laughs> back to back. Mega drains. We're getting hungry. Really, we're just getting hot. Kill it. Destroy it. Annihilate it. Exterminatus it. Make it scream. <laughs> the move Quick Attack can't be used. Now you use Mega Drain. Where did you come from, you bastard man? Seriously. Where did you come from? I passed by that place. <gasps> okay, good. Which does mean that we might be entering the... Not really half. The next half, but like... Uh, and did that give me back my moves? That gave me back my moves. Yay! And Shane decides... To this music! Love it. Every so, basically, when an instrument that really punches the, my preferences, I'm like, oh yeah! <laughs> Here it goes. Man, I kind of want to play uh, Tales of Symphonia. I think I tried uh, beginning to stream it once, but then I messed up a thing I was trying to do. I'll have to try again sometime. Oh dear God, it's a Steelix. Kill! Kill! Dang it, Fate! Look what you did! Now we're going to have to really book it towards an exit. Or else Shane's gonna get annihilated. Or waste all his bullet seed on, like, the one sand slash that's in here. Let's get out of here! Reunite, team! The mag... Here we go. Or maybe we'll... Let's see. I wonder where we are. I'm certain we've come quite far in. Wah! Quake! Oh, it's over. 
Hey, Neon, over there! Hey, are you okay? What happened to you? We challenged Groudon and wiped out. G Groudon? G we. It crushed us. Where's Alakazam? That's right. What happened to Alakazam? Where is Alakazam? Alakazam is still battling Groudon. Neon, we've got to hurry. And to. Be careful! And to think all those other super trained up Pokemon couldn't do this. It's Alakazam! Are you okay? Hmm. So it's you. Stay back! This opponent is no laughing matter! Here it comes! Coming? Where? Rah! Alakazam! Oh, great, he got kidnapped. What? Alakazam is gone! Maybe... Was he defeated? Oh, it's our turn next. But I'm not going down without a fight! Neon, let's do our best! Alright. Shame. Let's go together. And for me, I'm gonna put on my power band so that we can do better damage. Shadow Ball! Shadow Ball! Fate? Yeah, you're on go after foes, but... Yeah, fate. Tactics. Let's go together, and then go after foes, because I think your AI is broken. Kill! Yeah! Annihilate Groudon! <laughs> that already... Bullet Seed has already paid for itself. Groudon! We just saw you two. Where'd you come from? Look, it's Alakazam! Charizard and Tyranitar, too! <laughs> Holy shit, they beat Groudon! Did you do it, Groudon? Are you okay? Yes. Fine. We will be fine. But we must get out immediately. What about Groudon? Will it be okay? Your concern is unneeded. It will awaken soon enough. It had lost control only because it was enraged from having its sleep disturbed. It should calm down. Ah, another quake! Out! Quickly! I could just teleport us, but I want the legwork! Having calmed Groudon, Neon's team left the dungeon and returned to Pokemon Square together with Alakazam's team. If you want to add a member, you have to go and talk to him. I did it. I saved the day. And in the square... Is Neon's team almost here? Look, here they come. It's true, darlings. Let's go. Great work. Great work, Neon. You really took down that Groudon! Darlings, it's fantastic! You have won me over! Wait, whoa, wait a sec! How does everyone know about what happened underground? Polipper spread the word with an extra edition of the Pokemon News! You bunch became stronger than I expected! You can be proud of it! You lot did great. Why don't we team up sometime? <laughs> You've earned everyone's respect now. Your team shining is a first-class rescue team. Take pride in that. Shame. Neon. Neon, this is great! Every bit of our effort, it was all worthwhile. 
would you look at that? I didn't think someone that could take down ground on be such a crybaby. <laughs> Huh? What was that? I thought I heard something just for a moment. Did I just imagine it? No, I heard it too. Me too. Even now I hear it. Someone talking? Not sure. Th this voice! I've heard it before. This voice, I'm sure. That's it! It's Zatu! Zatu. Ah, that's it. Telepathy. Zatu is calling out to us using telepathy. To all Pokemon. Calling all Pokemon. Terrible it is. From the sky falls a star. From the sky comes a star. It is huge. A giant of a star. The star it falls. It falls straight to us. That looks less like a star and more like nightmare. Disasters in nature, there were many. The balance of the world, it has been upset. All because of the star, the star that slowly comes closer. If it keeps coming, it will crash into this world. It shall be terrible. Something must be done. Zatu, tell us, can the falling star be stopped? There is a way. To prevent collision, there is but one solution. You must ask Rayquaza. Rayquaza? What might that be? A Pokemon living far above us in the sky. Legendary it is. Rayquaza must be asked to destroy the star from the sky. Because even though it is technically its job to do this anyway, it has to be asked to do its job. Funny how that works. However, far, far up in the sky lives Rayquaza. Known by few and seen by none. The sky. How are we to go there? Alakazam and I amplify our teleport together and send Pokemon to the sky. However, the sky is a world above the clouds. What will become of the Pokemon sent to the sky? Even I can guess nothing. Then we'll do it. We'll go. I also... I thought there could be none but you. But... Are you sure? There's no telling what would hap what you will find in that world above the clouds. We expect danger. It's my wish that all Pokemon can live in peace. Shane, Neon, do you hear? This is Zatu. Discuss we will, Alakazam and I, about how our teleport can be amplified. Departure, it is tomorrow. Rest you should until then. Last word. Dangerous will be your adventure, but fail you must not. Surpass yourselves. No problem. We'll be fine. Right, Neon? Let's get it done. I will set out to confer with Zatu. You leave tomorrow. Prepare for your journey before then. I'm throwing in my lot with Team Shining. Get out there and save the world! You can do it. You can stop the star from falling. If anyone can do it, it's you! Keep your faith! I will wait for you. Neon, I'm sure that you'll succeed and come back. This is getting heavy, but I have this feeling that you can do it. We need you to win. Rayquaza is a legendary Pokemon, isn't that right? Getting to it sounds difficult enough, but you can't fail. Darlings, I can't begin to imagine a world above the clouds. The best of luck. Everything depends on you. Don't fail. 
neon. Ah, you're our one hope. Welcome. <laughs> you're our one hope. Now back to my pitch. Any new things? I don't know what sort of Pokemon Rayquaza is, but with you, I know it can become a friend. Friends are my treasures. Welcome to the Wigglytuff Club, a circle of friends. Nope, nothing new. Well, I need to make my do. You'll do fine. I'm sure you'll find success. Have confidence in yourselves. Hello there. Thank you for everything, Mrs. Kangaskhan. Like, out of everyone, I don't think you're the one, like, you're the one that has doubted us the least. Now we need to throw a lot of things in there. Gonna keep my stamina band. Let's see. Take Thief, and then well, that'll be everything we really need for above. Well, let's see. Actually, we need another apple. One more apple. In fact, do we have a big apple? Make it a big apple, Miss Kangaskhan. We're gonna need it while we take to the sky. Owl City. I'm rooting for your success, Neon. See, it's a good thing none of you tried to kill me. Well, you tried to kill me, but you failed. I'll use Harden and wait for Neon's team to come back. A shooting star is on collision course. This is indeed a desperate time, but there is nothing that I can do. All our hopes ride with you. I realize that it is a heavy burden to bear, but... We must count on you to succeed. All right, think I have everything. Come on, Shane. Ready to go. Neon, are you all ready to set for the sky? All set. Yep, looks like we're ready to go. We leave tomorrow. So let's get plenty of rest for tomorrow. Tomorrow, let's give it everything we can, Neon. Damn it, I didn't go grab, didn't grab fate. So fate's probably not coming with us. Uh, I feel horrible. This is a dream, isn't it? But why, why do I feel this terrible? This is the first time. How do you like Dream Eater? Horrible, isn't it? <laughs> But who would have thought you were also human before? Didn't expect that. But who cares? Someone like that's sure to be some lowlife. <laughs> I'll expose you yet. I'll expose what's in your heart with Dream Eater. <laughs> <laughs> Something's coming. It's Navi. Get out of here. What? What is that light? It's coming closer! Frickin' home invader. The pain, it's going away. Gardevoir? Gardevoir, will you tell me now? Who or what I am? Yes, the time has arrived. Why you have come here? I will tell you all there is to tell. Neon, you have come to save this world. Come to save this world of Pokemon? I did? Yes. We learned that this world faced extinction, and so we sought a hero. But though we searched nowhere could we find our hero, we were becoming discouraged when we came across a human. Neon, you were that human. What? Wait a second, hero me? That's too much. I'm not anything special like that. Yes, that is also what you said the first time we met. You said you were not strong, but what we sought was not power merely for display. We sought true courage. True courage that I'm even less confident about. That too is what you said when we met. It was then that you said this. To see if you were worthy to be our hero or not, you asked that we put you to the test. 
and only if you were found to be truly worthy, then you were to be told the truth. To fulfill your role, clear of heart and mind, you then chose to erase your memory as a human, and became a Pokémon of your own will to fight alongside your friends. That is how you came to be in this world. I... I did that? Your courage has been proven. Without question, you bear the role of the saving the world. And that role, it is soon coming to its end. Stopping the meteor from crashing into this world? That's my role? Yes. And when that is accomplished, you can return to your human world. Oh, so I can go back to being a human. Wait, but that means... Yes, it means parting ways with Shane. Shane, I have to leave? Shane feels great kinship with you, Neon. So, Neon, if you were to leave, your friend would be heartbroken. But there can be nothing done. Because there are encounters, there are also farewells. I, too, once had a friend beyond value. Truly, I cherished our friendship. But my friend has gone away. It fills me with sadness still, losing my friend. But... We will meet again. That is what I believe. What, what was that? Who was it? Someone appears to have been looking into your dream. But it is fine now. Whoever it was ran off. All that remains in this dream is a feeling of sadness. That Pokemon, I think, ran off crying. It will be morning soon. Au revoir. It's really pulling at my heartstrings. Because imagine, falling into a world, having no memories, finding one friend, and then, like, sure, you can go back, maybe even get your memories back. But the world you know, the life you know, is all going away. Good morning. Did you sleep well? This is it. Let's go, Neon. We're off to the sky. And we're gonna bring fate. Come along, fate. The fate of the world hangs in the balance. Sky Tower! I wonder why Upper Forest is above Sky Tower. That makes no sense. Ah, good of you to come. What? What's going on? What is Atu doing? It is almost ready. The teleport gym. Teleport gym? Again. It sounds dumb when I do it, but I have to do it. It's like Wobbuffet. It is made. This, this is the teleport gym. This will deliver you to the world of the sky. Now, Neon. Except, If I could do the voice, I would imagine him to sound like a Dalek. Neon's team received the teleport gem. That was made using the powers of psychics by me, Alakazam, and... Oh. A ghost-type Pokemon. We received help from it. Gone away, it seems. Who could it be? Ha 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 ha. It must be bashful. Let it be. Kind of weird, because it had to have been Gengar. So I guess <laughs> he was all like, I'm going to expose your truest heart. And then my heart was so pure, I guess, that he came all this way to help to make the teleport gym. That's kind of funny. Now, I must ask you this one last time. This journey will be fraught with considerable danger. Will you still go? Of course we will. We have to get Rayquaza to destroy the Falling Star, right? If that will bring peace, I'll gladly give my life for it. That's my wish. Yes. And when that wish comes true, Gardevoir said, You can return to your human world. This will be my last adventure with Shane. Neon, let's get this done. We're counting on you. Shane! Neon! 
dang it. It's actually, I'm actually tearing up a little bit. Man, I, I love this game. We fell from the sky into the sky. Ow, 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 ow. Where are we? Where? Neil, this is so cool. We're on clouds. Oh, wow! Neon, look up there! That is badass. It's a huge tower of clouds. It's at the top of this tower. That's where Rayquaza is. Neon, let's do our best on the climb! This music! Oh, oh. Whoa, whoa. Destroy the moon! First you take the moon, then you take the moon! Thunderbolt! Alright, team. Shane. Back on to go after foes. Fate. Whoa, whoa. Little bit exploring. I'm being spun! By a what are you? Foretaurus. I am the moon! You can throw rocks at me all you want. I'm more powerful than you could ever be. Oh, 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 oh. Whoa! Love of the music for this level, man. Throw rocks all you want. We'll empower you! And then this, like, little soft breakdown. And now we interrupt this nice breakdown for a level up. In fact, that reminds me, I need to put my stamina band back on. So that we can last through this staircase and climb through Sky Tower. Okay, it decided to kill itself. But I still have this Shadow Ball! I'm gonna throw a rock at a ghost! Now nah, we don't need that. An explosion's too scary. We move on! I think. There might be ever so slightly a motif to, uh, like the opening of the game. What's a warp scar? A hold item that occasionally warps the Pokemon to another place on the same floor. That sounds like a nightmare. Now I imagine that would be like a funny run. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Blue Rescue Team, except I'm constantly warping. Oh, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. Love the music. And I forgot to put away my money. But at the same time, we're kind of entering at the end of the world, so... It's either I keep my money or the world dies. <laughs> so I guess it's not that big a deal. 
Onwards we go. Into the sky! Into the stratosphere! Oh, 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 What if I threw a rock? I missed. Help! 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 I died, fuck! That was bullshit. I need to annihilate this bastard. Because I couldn't even hide behind Shane to have help. Which I think is major shenanigans. Personally, Oni's a super bastard! Hiding atop the wall. Oh wait, did they knock off my frickin' stamina band? Those guys were double bastards! Yeah, they knocked off my frickin' stamina band. Assholes. Eh, let's move on. I don't want to get exploded by a fortress. So yeah, it's less... Hey, you need to be careful, because there's strong Pokemon. No, they just hide in the goddamn walls. <laughs> the damage. It's coming from the walls. It's stealing my frickin' scarf! Quit knocking off our shit. And now, put on the power band. Still for you. Love the music. It really feels like an epic moment in a game, of definitely. Lost all of its frickin' power points. That's like super dickish. But I'm gonna save my max elixir for the final bow. I'll just have to make do of Shadow Ball, I guess. And hiding behind Shane. So, <laughs> let's charge up the tower. Of the music. It almost feels like kind of nostalgic in a way, but like a uh, fuck. Why do ghost types get to go above and beyond being dicks? <laughs> they can just hide in walls. That shenanigans, man, again. But it kind of feels like this is uh, the kind of song that would play over the grand end of a adventure intermixed with uh, intermixed with the nostalgic scenes from the rest of the series. We're getting out of here because we need to save all the power we've got. Take this. 
We've leveled up enough, I believe. Punch the Lunatone. Punch him till he is dead. You can put him to sleep all you want. gummies in our inventory. Well, there is a gray gummy. I'll eat it. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ah, shit. Luckily, we're already on the exit, so we just need to kill this guy. We can leave. Because hail, I think, does damage every now and then, making it a pain. Do, 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 do. Just speed run this, speed run through because ghost's a nightmare. Oh, oh. We destroyed the lots of moon. Time to destroy the sun. Rock. Rock. Face. You will fear my power! As I heal, Ribbon. We already have lots of, uh... What is a heal, Ribbon? A hold item that speeds up the Pokémon's natural HP regeneration. The Pokémon's belly will go down faster. So, it's kind of like a reverse stamina band, but with an effect. Like, oh. <laughs> Basically, take tons of apples. La, la, la. Just love this music. Love this game. <laughs> well, look who it is! It's Taunt! The little bastard that we needed a long time ago, here again. Come along, Taunt. You can see the end of the world. Alongside us, front row seats! And just so you know, you owe me a friend area. <laughs> Utterly magnificent. It's the ghost! Whoa, 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 whoa. And that's why I was uh, standing behind doing extra damage. So that Shane wouldn't kill himself. I can still throw rocks, you bastard. I can still throw rocks. That won't help you. It's the rock doing the damage, not me. <laughs> ah, shit. All right, Shane, gummy time. Da, 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 da. Whoa, oh, oh, oh. Da, 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 da. I love the design of this place, even if the hail's gonna be a nightmare. It's like poison for the floor. What is this? Poison for ants? Well, speaking of poison... Because I think this is the poison gummy. 
But luckily, Shane eats poison for breakfast. Because he's just that kind of guy. Rise higher and higher, higher and higher. Even though I'd like to hunt that down, well, shit, we're gonna be hunting that down. That's worth a lot of money. So you're gonna be handing that over. Looks like I'm on the gummy eating duty now. Because our inventory is full! Shed more hail! Yeah, that is actually an interesting thing. Like, if you're climbing through a bunch of clouds, different weather happening, that's actually really cool. Rock. Rock. Oh, that's all you got, dude? I have rocks. And we're facing hail up in here. Well, fuck. Incoming ghost move, ghost guy. Incoming ghost guy. Okay, yeah, that, 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 that bastard almost got out of his direct punishment of doom. Whoa, whoa. Let's get out of here. The hail's coming down too hard. Up the stairs. He'll somehow get us away from the hail. Hello there. Would you like to die? Sure, we're invading your home, but it's for a good cause. Because if my home goes away, your home goes away. And really, who can who, who can argue with that? Whoa. My home is your home. Or more like your home is on top of my home. The apartment building's coming down is basically what I'm trying to say. We're trying to stop it. Love the music. You bastard! I'm being assaulted! Like a cracker! Gotta save that for Rayquaza, my dude. I love this music. Seriously, props to the composer. Or composers. The people behind this music. You are wonderful! Absolutely wonderful. I have a shadow ball with your face on it. And a rock! You ever just get blasted by a shadow ball? You wake up, turn around, and then a rock is what it takes you out. Ow! But luckily, I can ow you harder. It's a knuckle drag out brawl. Eevee versus a fly gone. By God, he's coming in with a steel chair. He's, by God, he's coming out with the iron tail. Actually, I actually have to see something now. Okay, good. The move didn't take tackle out of my set. And that's kind of why I don't want to use any of my status moves because I don't want the game to go like, oh, zero, bye-bye, Link. Granted, I do have a Link box, but still. At least I think I have a Link box. I might have gotten rid of it. So I could re-Link if I absolutely needed to, but I don't want to do it. It's just another step on this five billion step plan. Shadow Ball. 
So apparently Shadow Ball is a pretty decent up-close move, and it looks like there's actually damage degradation, depending how fucking that Xenerodactyl kill. Love the music. It really helps. The story, the characters, the fact that it's Pokemon is all well and good, but the music really helps you get through these long dungeon. Oh, fuck. Dads, this is bullshit. Why can't I run away from this? I swear, if I die to this, this is gonna be major bullshit. I think I'm gonna die to this. Cause they, okay, what was doing that move? I think it was the Venomoths. The Venomoths have to die. Yeah, it was the frickin' Venomoths. And now we're out of the goddamn shit. Fuck off. I hate monster houses. This is so stupid. Why are there so many in this goddamn place? Triple speed? This is so stupid. I hate it. We're gonna lose because of this. Why? That was so stupid. I didn't even get a chance to get away. Especially because even if I put on the warp band, we couldn't do anything. It was so stupid. That was the dumbest thing in the world. Dumbest shit ever. And I think I lost my item. There goes my stamina band. You know what, game? No, fuck off. That is cheats. You know what's cheats? Cheats is when this game decided, hey, you know what? We're gonna throw an insca inescapable, literally, you are going to lose room at you. That is what the game did. No, I do not feel bad about that. Jesus fucking Christ. I'm just gonna speed up ahead. Because Jesus Christ, that was literally unfair. It would be one thing if I stumbled into it and then had to run away, but I spawned into a monster house! I refuse to take responsibility for a goddamn monster house. Okay. Now I still need to do this again. Because Jesus Christ, no, I refuse. Absolutely, positively, goddamn fuck you, refuse. I should not have to put up with spawning into a monster house and have no way to escape it. <laughs> no! Refuse! Absolutely, positively, fuck out of here! I have never had that happen to me before. Alright, we already talked to everyone once before. Let's -a go! Still need to speed through everything. Jesus Christ game 
Like, it would be one thing if it was just a monster house, but it wasn't even just a monster house. It was also a specific monster house that had three Pokemon that had moves that attacked the entire room. Oh, but didn't attack anybody but me and my allies. That's fair game. <laughs> Sure, that's totally where you draw the line, game. Oh, we can't have the enemies use room-clearing moves and actually hit other enemies in there. No, it should only affect the player. Dumb. Then there was the ones using stat-boosting moves. So they got more turns. Dumb. But let's move along up. We'll have to go all the way through a goddamn gen. There we fucking go. Like, if I actually died to my own incompetence, that would be one fucking thing. But I didn't die to my incompetence. I died because the game just decided to cheat. Can I throw rocks at you? I can. I should have just done that from the beginning. And now we don't even have Taunt Buddy with us. My favorite buddy, Taunt Buddy. Okay, good. Protect us and protect... Game, will you fuck off? Seriously, game. Fuck off with the stupid bullshit. Oh, yeah, it casts Protect on itself. And it's going to freaking say, fuck you. I'm going to explode every single time. No. Fuck out of here. It's not even something like, oh, I should not have rushed through because it was guaranteed. It was guaranteed that I was going to fucking die in there. I didn't have any- I didn't have room clearing moves. I didn't have anything. Barely, even if Bullet Seed was off cooldown, had power points, I honestly doubt we could have done anything because the AI randomly doesn't want to move moves. And I forgot that the stairs were up there for some- Fuck off, Shuppet. Fuck off. Fate, why are you just standing there? Why can it hit through the wall, but I can't? That is also bullshit. Fuck off, shop it! You little whore. Whore of a shop it. Stop fucking with my team's fucking outfits. They're my outfits. I designed them personally! Hey, another stamina band. I doubt stacking them works, although that, that would be hilarious. Rock. Lol. Who would win? Nigh immortal bug husk or a rock? Why are we just running into a bunch of you now? Not that I'm complaining. I would take you over a freaking monster house. A monster house of them, please! A monster house of sh of shit dids! More of them! That's what I want! That is what I want more than anything! A monster house of them! And then I think I need to put Shane on Go Murder again because diddly dee. Yep, Go Murder. Go, go, murder power. Alright, at least you're on the right track to not be in the goddamn wall. Where's the exit, Ben Boy? Where's the exit? Where is the executor? I want to sue.
Where the hell is the exit? Ah, we didn't go all the way over here. But yeah, two things. <laughs> Basically, monster houses should not ever, ever spawn, like literally on top of the player. You should not be able to spawn in a monster house, and the exit should not be in a monster house. Like, sure. Like, I would even take a bit of a funny aha. Like, you have to get a few steps, like one or two steps in to a monster house before it activates. Just to be like, oh, fine, if we can't just absolutely nuke you from orbit, let's have a small light scatter bombing from the toilet. But still, why? I was on a roll, just jamming to music, annihilating foes, and then the game was just the... Why? Every time you hit me, I wake up, I think. Yeah, you hit me, I wake up. You don't even get turn advantage. Because I wake up, I hit you. What are you doing? Are you high? Did you smoke a bay leaf? We don't need to murder him. He was an innocent old man. And I think this will be... Nope, no bite. Oh, no, I think that happened in Groudon. Bleh. I don't know. We were here for five million years. Then I had to deal with a monster house that ate my soul. Because, like, there really should be special programming that nerfs Pokemon that spawn within a monster house. Because else, it's kind of bullshit. Especially when you come on in, you spawn, and there's literally nothing you can do. There's like a one in a thousand chance that you just die. Oh no. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon decided to go the way of that one Flash game I saw speed ran. Where if you get far enough into the game and you actually drill down into the ground, which is the core way to go through the game, and uh, it's the core way of getting through the game, and is your way of movement. <laughs> it's kind of shenanigans that every single block that you drill through has a chance of just exploding. It's kind of stupid. <laughs> That's kind of the equivalent of that. There is a decently sized chance that every single room you go in, you spawn into, might just be a monster house. And unless you are ungodly leveled, like literally, higher than God himself and going, uh uh uh, I win, you will lose. There is no victory. There is no victory against a spawn-in monster house that spawns you into the corner! I refuse. I absolutely refuse. It's just so shenanigans. Biggest shenanigans. I know you'll do your best, my dude, but there's nothing we can do against the nightmare realm of, uh, yeah, you just die. That was basically the equivalent of a dungeon master deciding to go, you know what? Fuck it. You all die. Rocks fall, everybody dies. But at least I don't have all my, my power points. Because, like, that's also a thing that really fucked me. Like, not that it would have mattered, honestly. I could have one-shot every single Pokemon in that room. Like, well, if I had the ability to one-shot every single Pokemon in that room, I still would have died because uh, there were far too many. There were room attacks, and there were far too many buffs going out that I could not at all get a turn in. 
So yeah, it was literally impossible for me to get out of that unless both Shane and Fate used like super effective moves. Every single time they had a chance, there was no way we were gonna get out. You could have an entire inventory of Reviver Seeds, and I honestly don't think that you would live. You'd have a better chance. But I don't think a full inventory of Reviver Seeds could have salvaged that monster house. I just don't think it was possible. I don't think it was possible. Kill, it might explode and we don't like that. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm not wearing my stamina band. I don't think. Dang it. Forget why it was locked onto him. Why do some reset but others don't? But okay, now we're going good. So we'll have to eat one of our apples soon. Sadness. I forgot to put on my power band because I had to reset and I... Okay. I just reminded myself. I'm setting a goddamn save state. After that monster house, no. If it were just a normal thing, but no, this is a story mission. No, I ain't dealing with that. I, I'm not gonna deal with that again. <laughs> I'm all for playing legitimately as possible. That's why I didn't use safe states to capture Pokemon, legendary Pokemon, in like uh, yellow and crystal, and will and will hopefully never devolve to the point of. Uh, well, I'm gonna use save states for capturing legendary Pokemon. But like. When it comes to something like that, where I now know that at any point, at any time, the game may just decide that I lose? No. No. <laughs> no. If I die by an actual mistake, like, oh, I let myself get hit by Shuffets, I'm gonna take away all your power point move. And then I run into Pokemon that just do massive damage against me, like self-destruct again and again and again and I can't outplay them, I'll accept that loss. I will lose my power band, special band, and uh, stamina band. I will accept that loss. I do not accept loss at the hand of bullshit. RNG, you suddenly lose? No. No. RNG, I suddenly win. Except it's not really random because I just win. I am the winner. I am the one, the one, and I'm winner. That's why that coughing is now dead. Why is there a coughing up here? Pollution? Pollution, probably. How is there pollution? There's no people here. Kill the sun! First you kill the sun! Oh no, we're in Skyrim now. Pokemon Skyrim! I kinda want that now. God damn it! Why? And now look, dumbass. Like, there was no way you saw the coughing that far in. Get back here, you stupid schmuck. Now look what happens when you go to fight coughing and you didn't use your goddamn bullet seed for once in your goddamn bullet seed life. All poisoned up with nowhere to go. And you only have yourself to blame. And there's another goddamn coughing on our tail. We're gonna leave. Because I don't want it to explode on you. It would have put you dangerously near death's door. And I don't want... That's interesting sound effect, probably because it's hitting a light screen. That's cool. No! Be gone, Ghostman! 
Go away. Nobody likes you. You're ugly. Ghost type in this game so far, scariest type. Not, not really a safeguard if you think about it, because it's not really doing anything. All that safeguard, now you're dead. How does that make you feel? Stupid? I think stupid. Well, at least the music is there to be like, don't worry, the pain and agony is all over. Or is yet to begin once more. At the very least, it beginning with a bunch of, like, the Halo bug dudes that are super hard to kill. At least that proves that the, <laughs> the dungeon reset so that we don't have to worry about spawning into a um, monster house most immediately. It's entirely possible that we will head into another monster house upon spawn and the world will laugh at me and my tears. But at the very least, it is not something that we immediately have to go, well, this is inevitable. Because if it was inevitable, I think I would quit. <laughs> Quite literally. I would not. I would not at all even try to conquer that kind of shenanigans. I have limits and a soul. Unlike the man who decided there should be a mechanic in this game called Monster House. And sometimes it'll be impossible to win. Rayquaza, just send up all those bastards. Send those Flygons and those Venomoth dudes up into the sky. They can bully the asteroid ray falling star. And they'd probably win! They would just speed each other up in a per perpetual cycle. They'd break physics. They'd go to the speed of light and crash into Oa. Ah! Nightmare, 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 nightmare. Superman? Nah. Monster House. Like, honestly. Superman has nothing on Monster Houses. Superman spawns in. Immediately gets... <laughs> Superman Mystery Dungeon. He spawns into a, a floor. He's surrounded by kryptonite. He dies. Superman Mystery Dungeon. Ah, at least the music, the nice kind of whistle is there to say all the bad things, the bad things, they're far away, they're gone. They do not, they are not here punching you in the nuts. They are away. They do not exist here. Here is a happy place. Detect band? What is it to detect a band? Oh, hold on, and that boosts the Pokemon's evasion. Hmm. I'll give that to fate, actually. Survival is important. Get out of here, steel boy. Ah, but I think I've calmed down now. We are here on a journey of happiness. The world's about to die, of course, but that does not mean that one cannot be happy in the face of destruction. Have a sky gummy. I shall have a sky gummy. We are now Sky Gummy Brothers. What even are gummies? Fucker! 
kill! Kill the bastard ball! Dick! I should have... I should have just gone in to the exit. It was right there. Big glowing exit sign. You can leave now. And I decided, I'm gonna explore! And now look at us. Our kneecaps are broken. The Sky Mafia came to say hello! With hammers! The Sky Mafia don't send mail. They send hammers. You open up your mailbox. Hello! And then your kneecaps are gone. You don't even know how. You wake up in an ice bath and your kneecaps are gone. False swipe, but wouldn't that leave me with uh, one HP if you actually managed to hit me hard enough with it? Unless false swipe did something different this early on. This early on. Then again, a f false swipe was in like generation two, wasn't it? All right, we're getting slow. Low for a moment there, I thought there was multiple uh, scissors. That won't help you. What helped you more was RNG. It said, hello. You will not take damage right now. Quick dodger. Yay. What do? Quick dodger. Info. Better at evading attacks and moves. Sure. I'm going to throw rocks at you. I'm going to throw rocks at you. How does it feel? That's not gonna help you. Ah, I still love the music. Die, 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 die. I said die. Nobody likes you. Not even yourself. Have your friends abandoned you for the slime? Kill. 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 It's the room man. It's the room man. And the room man must die. The room man must die. Shadow Ball. How dare you touch my Shadow Ball? Now you will eat my face! Wah! Wah, Luigi! I think this is kind of where we were before. Maybe. Kind of roundabout-ish, yes. At least this Aerodactyl is dying. Why are there Aerodactyl alive? They are meant to be fossils. They just decided we live today. In the sky. And what's this? Another stamina band. I think the game is mocking me again. Hey, remember when you died? You dropped your stamina band. Out of fear of running into a monster house, we're running to the top. Sunny day. Oh no. Ah, it wasn't a Flygon that was in there. It was this long neck motherfucker. Die. Die. Hey, bastard, Shadow Ball, fuck you. You fucking die already? Why you get multiple updates? What the hell? Fuck this guy. What the hell? That you used way too much of my shit. I am upset! You're just gonna see her heal. Gonna throw a rock at you. Gonna throw another rock at you. Gonna throw- I'm just gonna keep throwing rocks! But yeah. No. No. Hate Venomoth. Hate Venomoth. Venomoth is now up there with Bellsprout. This game has- No! 
I need to take them off it, but at the same time, I need them to attack enemies as much as possible when fighting is unavoidable. When fight unavoidable, we must kill as quickly as possible, which requires, hey, go kill. Fuck, kill, kill, kill. I have link boxes, kill. Help! Venomoth, my new major nemesis. What the fuck is that? Scope lens. What the hell does the scope lens do? Boost critical hit rates. Yay. Leave. Leave. Fear. No! 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 Kill! 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 Kill the bug! Please! 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 Fear! 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 Leave! Oh, I would like to save my adventure up to this point, even though I have two revives. But we can body Rayquaza. We can body Rayquaza. Venomoth is the real bad guy here. Ooh. Fear. Fear. Oh, hello. I'm gonna go behind you. And then I'll throw rocks. Alright, different music. Interesting music. Haha, <laughs> 69. Very interesting music here. Ah, your wind did not affect me. Everything else, I'll take everything else. Just no Venomoths, please. Hello, Aerodactyl. You have yet to scare me super a lot. I'm sure that you probably could if you really wanted to, but. Die, die. I'll throw rocks at this aerodactyl. What do you Oh, great. I pissed it off. Now it's coming from me. Oh, I majorly pissed it off. Major, modern Major General pissed it off. But yeah, stat boosts are apparently crazy at a certain point. But because I usually fight monsters, like Pokemon, and I was like, okay, one shot, okay, one shot. I don't really need stat boosts all that much for 90% of the goddamn game. And then I run into frickin' monster rooms or Venomoth bastards. I'm just gonna keep throwing rocks at you, you know. I'm a bastard. Oh, hey, fly up. Uh, no, I forget what you're called. Basically, my goal now is to avoid as much fighting as possible. Okay, that bastard just spawned in. Kill. How many rocks do I have? 31. Since it's a summit, it should be about three levels, so we shouldn't have... It's just converging! So much converging in combat right after I said I want to go fast. Yes, kill the bastard, please. Jesus Christ, can we get the move on? Especially painful that it's happening in tunnels. 
We want to get to the next exit. Woot woot. Not so woot. How dare you bite me! I'm not made of cotton candy! And see, this is why I put the guys on <laughs> go after foes. Because it's just the thing to do. It just so happens that occasionally... X-ray specs. What the hell does X-ray regs do? Enables to see locations of items and foes. Stamina is more important, but maybe having that for other things. Oh, eat a sky gummy and then take these. Punch. Punch. But yeah. It's just, it's simpler to leave the, hey, go after foes on for most of the time and then turning them off for boss fights. I'll use this. Damn it. Rock. Of course, more bastards have to come through the tunnels. I'll take your place. More bastards have to come through the tunnels. Yes, please. Thank you. Thank you for saving your bullet seed on to a worthy opponent. Roar. Is there anything that we want to give up? Honestly, probably this Pekka Scarf. Swap. Let's get out of here. Floor five. Ever on and on. Mr. Dragon Man, please don't hunt me down and eat my soul. That'd be the most least epic. Shit. The most least epic is here. Well, at least we get another level out of it. Even if it is a bunch of ones. May your stat blocks be better than mine, my dude. They're already super better. Shane is the real powerhouse here. Shane should be leader. Can we hold a vote? I want Shane to be leader. God damn you. We have to kill him fast before his buddy comes back. Will you stop? Die. Why are they throwing so many enemies at me? I just want the exit. Shadow Ball. And rocks. Why do you move two moves? Ow. You missed. Thank God. We must avoid. Exit! Yay! Oh, hey! Thank you, game, for being kind. If only that could have been. The Monster Mansion. Uh, two of these bastards that go super fast. Why do they get a special ability that's just like, yeah, they go super fast. They say, screw you. They decide they go fast, they go fast. And why are we all missing each other? Quit stomping the boys. All right. Luckily, they didn't activate their special ability to go frickin' deja vu. I have been in this time before. Monster Mansion, please, will you just let my knees break off cleanly? <gasps> Here we are. Is this the top floor? Who goes there? Who goes Dares to trespass upon my airspace. Uh, a falling star. It's gonna kill everything. That voice. 
Could it be Rayquaza? Indeed I am. The sky is my domain. Then why do you let ghosts live here? Depart at once. But we don't have the time to argue. We came here because we need your help. Never. Hello. I am a being of the sky, and you are but denizens of the ground. That's like, I am the being of the second floor. You are a being of the first floor. We are not the same. To each there is a world destined as their own. For hundreds of millions of years, never once have I descended to the ground. I find that hard to believe, but... Did we see an apple up here? Maybe he gets apples up here somehow. And the opposite shall also hold true. Let there be no mercy for those who defy the laws of nature. Prepare for the end! Well, I mean, that's what we kind of came here. The end is coming, and we want to stop that. La 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 It's the fugitive song! Yeah, baby! Now, down and la 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 Beat up the bastard! Yay, motifs. I would like it if you could use your bullet seed attack. Can you? Dang it, I wish I could order him to use it. Use bullet seed! One more reviver seed. Why aren't you using moves? It's the final boss of this place! You okay, never mind. All in all, Bullet Seed probably would have trivialized that. <laughs> what? An earthquake? It's not possible! We're on top of clouds! These are shock waves! And they're huge! That's it! I got it! Look straight up, Rayquaza! Yay, that's what we were talking about, you bastard! That's invading on your airspace! What is that?! It's a shooting star, and it's enormous! It will destroy the world if it continues on its path! That's why we came, Rayquaza! Please, destroy the falling star! So that is why. Yes, please hurry and destroy it! Before I try, I need to know your resolve. The star has come too close. If I were to loose my hyperbeam here, you would not escape unscathed. So? We accepted that fate from the start! Well said! <laughs> it was <just> like... <laughs> Like we said, we came we came to face the end one way or another. Take charge of your destiny. Whoa! Ah great, we're in hell. We're Silent Hill. Pokemon Silent Hill. Now that's a terrifying thought. Is this... a dream? No, this is no dream. Yes, the star's explosion swallowed me, and I'm now adrift as a spirit. What's going to happen? The shadow, Gengar. <laughs> Neon! Didn't take much to put you down. You know, just a falling star the size of a mountain falling towards a planet. But still, that's not much I could totally have taken it on. Serves you right. <laughs> now, what to do with you? 
I know! I'll drag you into the dark world! That'll do. Gengar is dragging me. Gengar said he would drag me into the dark world. What is the dark world? Am I going to be abandoned in a world I don't know? Huh? Darn it, I took the wrong path. What? This isn't like me. I can't tell which way is which. Kek, <laughs> to hell with this. I'll just ditch you here. That's it. Goodbye to you. Hey. Hey, can you hear? Snap out of it. Huh? This place. Uh. Regained consciousness. Ooh. Ooh. I'm sure of it. I'm sure back there, Gengar saved me. Maybe did Gengar save Neon too? Awesome! You're alive! You really had us all worried! You were incredible! I'm so glad you're safe! It's fantastic! Everyone, thank you, but... What about the star? What happened to it? Qua! Fear not, the star is no more! Though it will not be right away... The disasters shall soon be calmed. What about our team member? Where's fate? Be calm. Fate is safe. Really? We did it, Neon! Everything worked! We've won peace! Pokemon Square. <laughs> Wish Cash Pond. Palippa Post Office. Off, off, obviously out to spread the news. The stars destroyed. Team Shiny won the day. Yippee! This is the greatest! This calls for a celebration! Let me shoot off my hydro pump to kick it off. Well, hold on there! Don't you point those things at me! Fish the other way! The other way! No, no! Let it lose! Ha <laughs> ha! You've got to be kidding me! I'll secure him so he can't get away! Oh, not bad! Bullying Lombre! What? You're serious! No, don't! <laughs> Neon. Gardevoir. We owe everything to you, Neon. And your friends. Peace has returned to our world. Thank you for everything. And now, Nyan, your role has ended. Soon you must return to your own world. It is time to bid farewell. It's finally come. This time has finally arrived. Nyan, I'm so sorry for this. To everyone, please bid farewell. Oh, Neon? Neon! Your body! What's happening to you? Shane? And everyone? I'm sorry, but I have to leave. What? What are you saying? Everyone, thank you for everything all this time. Huh? Leave? What do you mean, leave? My role as a Pokemon has ended. I have to return to the human world. Unbelievable. Go back to the human world? Uh, why? Why? I don't understand. Why do you have to leave? Didn't we... Aren't we friends? Yes. You will always be my friend, Shane. I will never forget you. Don't go, Neon. I'm blessed to have met you. What am I going to do when you're gone, Neon? 
I'm so very sorry. This is goodbye. Neon! 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 No! Neon, why? I don't understand. Why? Why was it necessary to leave us? Neon saved my life. But I hadn't done anything to show my thanks. Left. Before I could even say thanks. You're right. Just up and went like that. Why now? Why when the world's been saved? Just when things were going to get better. <laughs> this was coming. Our world. It was saved by Neon. I look back now. When bound for the sky, Neon seemed as if resigned. Resigned to accept what was to come. I think I know. Neon must have... Neon must have become a Pokemon to save us. And when... When the star was destroyed, Neon knew that would be the time to leave. Why? Why didn't Neon tell me earlier? If this was coming, why didn't Neon tell me? Those words couldn't be spoken. As much as you're heartbroken now, Neon must have felt the same pain of leaving. Try to understand, Shane. <laughs> Neon. God damn. It's really making me tear up. What is this? I'm rising into the sky. Is this my spirit? I wonder where I'm going. Huh? Voices. I hear voices. Your friend is heartbroken. A true friend. A friend for life. You finally realize it now. If you wish, and wish very strongly, Perhaps you will meet again. Oh. God damn it, I love this game. That's it. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Blue Rescue Team. It is the first game to ever make me cry, and goddammit, it almost did it again. And the only reason that I did it didn't was because I was too busy voice acting. Oh! oh the music! But let's go over my overall thoughts of the game. It's fucking fantastic. Literally, the only annoying part was the monster mansion house which just came and punted me in the ass but everything else is so good the graphics of this game are so good the music of this game is so good the story while simple the get this music I love the music here oh But yeah. While the story is simple, while the characters are simple, kind of one note here or there, it is utterly fantastic. Wondrous. Love it. I love it so goddamn much. Again, it was the first game 
to ever make me cry. Purely because I just got so attached to just the characters, because they're so simple, but they work. They work so well. And I just love it. It is just wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. But, there's a little more to this. I don't want to leave. I want to stay longer. With my invaluable, irreplaceable friend. Utterly fantastic. The story of Neon and Shane ends here. But Shining isn't done yet. There are many rescues to be done. A new adventure begins. The legendary Pokemon are set to make their appearance. Don't go away! Yes. Utterly, completely, wondrously magnificent. There is still more to do. Because there is a post game with a decent amount of things to do. And I never did it before. Have not done it before. Because, uh, purely due to the fact that, uh, I think, uh, I think I tried to do the 100 floor dungeon and just got my ass beat. <laughs> and plus, I also didn't do much grinding, aka just, hey, play the game normally, but do more rescue missions to level up your Pokemon. So, yeah. I'll, I'm just, really, I'm, we'll do a little bit more. We'll do a little bit more, see how things go, but... Once again, I'm just going to wrap up my thoughts of the main bit. The main bit. The main bit that was the three legendary birds, Groudon and Rayquaza. An odd selection, really. But, I love it. This game is one of my favorite games, if not my favorite game of all time. It has issues. Monster House Spawn! But, it's so great. And the funny thing is, you could probably bundle up the same story the same story, the same gameplay, but have it just be people, and it really wouldn't have reverberated with me as much as it did. But the fact that it is Pokemon, and it kind of hits on something that a lot of children kind of want to a degree. They either want to be a Pokemon trainer, or a sum. <laughs> In fact, you could very well say that Pokemon Mystery Dungeon kind of kicked off the bit of... Kids and people dreaming themselves of being Pokemon. And it's just, it's so good. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon is just like, what if it was just the Pokemon? And I love it. Being a Pokemon is such a cool gameplay thing. And I wish that they would do more kind of, oh, you are the Pokemon kind of things. And they could still, they could rip off the entire thing of... You being isekai into the world of Pokemon to be a Pokemon and go on an adventure. And if they, like, did, like, a 3D, like, Warriors game or a kind of action game, I would love it. Basically, I want more Pokemon games that had 
cool stories to tell with just the Pokemon. And that's why I love Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. The graphics really work. The artwork in the game is really cool. It's just everything about this game is fantastic one way or another. Even the monster houses are kind of neat to a degree, because you're just like, I'm going to go along and smite all my foes. SLAM! Doomsday is here. Honestly, I probably could have done more grinding and did rescue team missions and then gone to the Sky Temple, but I wanted to go to the Sky Temple. Well, it's probably not a Sky Temple, the Sky Tower. It might as well have been a temple for how much it buried me there. <laughs> but yeah. The minor arc bit with Gengar <laughs> still trying to keep up his big bad persona. We have no idea where Medicham and, uh, oh, what's it name? Ekans went. We don't know where Medicham and Ekans went. And then it just purely focused on Gengar when it came to his, uh, the team meanies. And yeah, the fake out there, the fake out there is so emotionally great. Because that's the thing. Even though the partner Pokemon for this Mystery Dungeon game is kind of simple, doesn't really have much to them, they're just a good friend. They're just a good friend, and that's why it's so great. So great. And, that, and the fact that you get to go back because you wished strong enough. Like I said, it was the first game to ever make me cry, and I was like 15 plus old. It's been a few years, but still, it made me cry, and I wasn't really a kid. And it almost made me cry again, literally only because I was too busy trying to keep my voice under control for <laughs> the actual voice acting. But anyway, let's continue our adventure. Due to Neon and Shane's heroic actions, the Falling Star was destroyed, and peace returned to the world of Pokémon. But, but that did not put an end to the calamities. Natural disasters still occurred, but much less often. Needless to say, Shinies, Shining's rescue activities continued as if nothing had changed. Several mornings later... I'm still sleeping alone, because I failed to bag Shane that night. Good morning, Neon. Did you just wake up? I went by the Plipper Post Office earlier. The bulletin board was still covered with rescue jobs. Even though it's peaceful again, many Pokemon still need our help. Neon, let's keep doing our best as always. Hell yeah. Neon! Oh, hi, Caterpie and Metapod. What's the matter? It's Snubble! There's something weird going on! Snubble is weird? Weird how? He looks completely different. Neon, let's get to the square! Evolution has returned! Hi, Alkazam! Hi, Alkazam. Have you seen Snubble? I heard something strange happened to him. I'm Snubble. What?! You're Snubble?! But you look, don't look anything like the way you did before. I don't really understand it either. I went into the cave there and all of a sudden... What cave? He's appeared without me noticing. See? Right there. So, you went in there. Yep. And I came out looking like this. Snubble underwent evolution. He evolved. Evolution? Evolved? I don't follow. Pokemon, upon satisfying certain conditions, may evolve. When a Pokemon undergoes evolution, its appearance changes. Oh, wow! Your own appearance, that can change? I suspect that cave is where evolution can take place. This is merely a guess. Perhaps evolution could not take place before because the world's balance was askew. However, now that the star has been destroyed, the world's balance has been restored. And perhaps that cave became unsealed. So if I evolved, I would become like Metapod? 
I wish. I want to be a better butterfly quickly. Wait a second. I don't know if I like this or not. My cute little face turned all craggy. Evolution is not a bad thing. Appearance isn't the only thing that changes through evolution. One's powers and abilities may be enhanced, for example. Oh, really? I... I might be stronger? That makes me want to evolve even more! I wish I could be a Butterfree soon! Me too! Can we evolve if we go to that cave? Yes, but it would depend on the conditions. Neon, let's go to the cave if we're ready to evolve. It's too narrow. There's only room for one. Come alone to enter. Yeah, that's the kind of thing... Oh, now I'm starting to remember one thing that kind of put me off. The post-game? The cave's entrance appears rather narrow. Only one may enter at a time, it seems. If you wish to enter the cave, you must come alone. Is because of kind of this mechanic where your partner Pokemon doesn't come with you as much later in the game because of that factor, where you start to come alone more. In fact, I think really quickly, you're, you have to go fetch your partner Pokemon for teams. And I didn't like that. You guys were amazing. Truly, you've impressed me. We're here now because you succeeded. You have my thanks. Of course, we did our bit to help too. Neon Shane! You both hung in there. Great job! But you're still not up to our caliber. Then why weren't you the ones to save the world? We will soon be departing the area. Sincerely, thank you for all the help and kindness you've given us. Neon and Shane, please do take care. We will soon be leaving this area. Yeah, we, uh, oh, we jump off, travel the world, carried wherever the winds will take us. Neon and Shane, we owe you so much. Thank you for everything. May we meet again. Mama. You did it. Good for you. That is so cool. La 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 Thanks to you. It sounds like we got him out of illegal trouble. You've done it, Neon. You're the greatest, really. It's peaceful again. Thank you. I've never expected less from you, my friend. Friends are my treasures. You'd like to add your friend areas? Oh, Jesus Christ. Final Island? The legendary island may not even exist. It hovers on the horizon and disappears suddenly as if a mirage. Ah, so that's where Mew can go. H Chamber O. Huh. Well, since I don't really have much to buy, really, I'm gonna pour all my money into uh, buying some new friend areas. I'll take all my money. I have no purpose for money. So I also just buy money. Wait. Because I know some Pokemon need to hold an evolution item in there. I'm all shaken up with emotion. Knowing that the square will be safe. That made me. It left me choked up. It isn't just you, my brother. I am likewise overcome with joy. But brother. My brother. Brother, my brother, tell me what are we fighting for? Tell me how to end this war. Nihon and Shane, we only have gratitude for you. Because we're not going to actually give you a discount any time. No discount for us. Peace has been restored. I may go out about securely my business. Thank you ever so much. La la la. Huh, that's a bit weird. But let's buy some uh, places. La 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 
let's see, which ones have, like, Pokemon that I already have access to? Rainbow Peaks, that's for Ho-Oh. La 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 la. We'll buy this one, because we have a lot of Pokemon there that we can actually potentially garner. Lots of places. God, this is going to take a lot of grinding. It's going to take a shit ton of grinding. Do -do -do -do. Do -do -do -do. I wonder if that's for the unknown. If we can run into the unknown now. Cryptic cave. This very mysterious spot said to be deep inside a dungeon is to be perfect place to store energy without expending any effort. I guess I'll buy Echo Cave, and then I'll start buying some of these legendary Pokemon places. Alright, let's see. See if we can buy at least two legendary Pokemon places. La 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 Nope. Need more money before we can buy more legendary Pokemon friend places. Why does he have legendary Pokemon friend places? We do not know. We do not question Wigglytuff because Wigglytuff is a scary bastard. He's our friend. But he is a scary bastard. Oh, wow. How marvelous, Neon. I can go on living again without fear. Thank you. You fought your way up a tower of clouds. I can't even imagine that. Sounds kind of wow. Yep. You are flat out incredible. Seriously, consider teaming up with me. <laughs> oh, darlings, you've outdone yourselves, Neon. La, 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 la. Hurry, save Ponyta! How the fuck did you get up there? Do 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 All right, any mount freezes? Any mount freezes? Nope. Do do do. That gravel rock in sinister woods. Do 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 do. I mean, I guess I could take that, maybe, because it's a B. Just for the future. I love it. Oh, but before we do anything, let's see. Can we do the rest of the challenges, my dude? I'd like to go train. Team Rumble Rock? I have to actually fight the dudes, but let's do the ghost maze. Once again, go super fast and then kill. You leave my friend alone! Okay, these guys are actually leveled for me. But nothing happened to Shane. Lol. Ba -ba 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 -boom. Kill! Kill the ghost! Quickly! I like the music. I forget which dungeon it's stolen from. It sounds like an early dungeon. I know, rock. All right, I wonder how many floors this one will have. Most of them only have uh, three. But this one is beefed up, so. Well, granted, it's only we've only been thrown ghastlies. This one, oh. Damn you. 
Oh, triple damn all of you. All right. Now, kill him! Quit confusing me in a tunnel. Why are there so many of your bastards? Be gone, Satan! God dang it. You can't even really outrun enemy Pokemon. Dang it, it got in the way of my escape. I hate you. Finding the escape is super difficult here. Oh, but I don't... Yeah, the link moves came apart. Bastards. Habit. And now I'm out of habit. Hmm. Now I wonder if ghost types can just fly through the final 100 level dungeon. I meant to look this way for aiming purposes. Shadow Ball. Lol. Shadow Ball. This is for making me unlink my moves. Since I beat all of them? Can I- Oh, wait! Huh? What? 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 Did you maybe conquer all the training courses? That's amazing! You, congratulations! I promised, I promised you a reward for completing the training courses, so here it is. My Bonsley doll. Isn't it smashing hay? It's been placed outside your rescue team base. Don't let you up in your training! And now I can fight the other rescue teams, it seems, but I'm gonna need to go link my... moves, which will take 200 Pokebucks, I believe. Ghosts took all my power points. Now I need to get my <laughs> moves relinked. And then I'm gonna try and fight one of the teams, maybe. Oh, for just 150 Pokey. Me. Moves. There we go. Thank you, my dude. Now let's go see if we can beat up one of the teams. Wait, I need to... I'm gonna bring some uh, Reviver Seeds, because, you know, a little bit of cheat sheet. I have a lot of Reviver Seeds. Oh, I don't want to store, I want to take with me. So I can beat up the other rescue teams and show them who is the real master here. Me. It's me. We'll just take two. And then I'll check my... Oh, I think I... Bleh. Reviver Seed. Yep, now we have two Reviver Seeds. Let's see if we can uh, survive, or will we get smacked down? Team Shift Tree, Team Constrictor, Team Hydro, Team Rumble Rock. Let's try. Let's try Team Trif Shift Tree. Your decision stands. Let's see. Is it just going to be a fight, or is it actually a dungeon? It's actually a dungeon, huh? And since you're ghosts, you're actually weaker to, against me. Wah, 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 wah. Unless I use... Um, if only I'd use my Shadow Ball more. That's how I should have worked it. Me a fool. And hey, at least these bastards can't go over the goddamn... Okay, we need to kill you. Quickly. 
Or are you so weak that you... Are these guys so weak that I can just one-shot them? And that they literally are doing no damage to me? Have I overestimated my enemies again? Okay, not really. Kind of, but mostly no. I mean, if I wanted to, I could probably bring in... Fate, but... I kind of want to go back to the way it was. Just me and Shane, dominating the world. Fate was there for, uh, world-saving duty. Now Fate can have a nice relaxing evening after getting annihilated in a monster house. So yeah, I wonder how hard Shift Tree will be. Considering his teammates, probably not that e difficult. Oh my, you're so scary. Oh my, you're so scary. Not. La 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 la. La 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 la. La 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 la. Of course, we should have just gone up from the beginning. I am dumb. I am the dumbest. See, this is why I changed. Hello, Nightmare. Nightmare, Nightmare, Nightmare! Shadow Ball! Shane, just come out and fight them with me. At least these guys aren't smart. They had a super advantage. But they're too weak. So weak. So weak. I still need to find more Uncle Roger content. His channel is funny. Shadow Ball. And now, defeat Sif Shift Tree. Pow. Lol. Shadow Ball. And now, kill. I am a scary Eevee. Ah, you finally you've succeeded in your training! That's kind of funny. We'll save the other ones to do later. The final battle will probably be against Alakazam. Alakazam's team. Oh, hey, Metacham! <laughs> that Lombre, he amuses me so. <laughs> oh, long time no see. You are well? You see, I have heard about Lombre's tale. It is too funny. I have heard that Lombre almost drowned at sea. <laughs> but that Lombre, he lives in water. How oh, very pathetic. <laughs> oh, there it is. It is a Bonsley statue. La 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 Oh yeah, Neon, wait a second. There's something I wanted to talk over with you before we go to a dungeon. What is it, my dude? You know how we always go to dungeons together, Neon? But I think we'll be seeing all sorts of different dungeons from now on. I think some of them will e be tough even for us. So I have an idea. Instead of us running things all the time, we should let the team as a whole do it. How about we change things so we can pick the leader and members to go into dungeons? That might even that might mean we won't be going on rescues to certain dungeons, but that will let us handle rescues better by having more Pokemon types available. Do you like the idea? Yeah. Do you think it'd be a good idea to be freely choose leaders? No, I am the leader. Huh? Why? Even up to now, we faced the tight situations where we had type disadvantages, right? Don't you think it would be better if different types of Pokemon were with us? Right, Neon? You agree that it'd be better? <laughs> we have to say yes, there is no... The team is fracturing. Yeah, and this is the part of the thing that I kind of dislike because now we have to go fetch Shane. From the friend areas. So it's a little... Uh, it kind of breaks the feeling of, oh, we're a team and this is my partner. So, yeah, that's, that's part of the reason why I kind of stopped 
going after a certain point. But we're gonna go, and go as hard as we can. Yep, that's right. I thought you'd agree, Neon. Okay, new rule. We can now freely pick the Pokemon that are going into dungeons. I think this is how we should pick the team leader of team going into a dungeon. In its friend area, face the team member you want as the leader, then select make leader on the menu. That will make the Pokemon the team leader. We should do that before every dungeon. One more thing. We should make it so a team leader can go into a dungeon alone if it wants. Anyway, to choose the leader of a dungeon-bound team in a friend area, use Make Leader. We should always choose the team leader in its friend area before sending the team to any dungeon. But I want it to just be us, my friend. Only us. Forever and ever. Well, we're gonna go to Mount Freeze. Since it's the one that we have two of. To Mount Freeze. And there were other places. Lo, 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 lo. A reviver seed. We'll need to beat you down. Wait, that's it's gonna. Oh well, it wouldn't have really mattered anyway because when they pick up reviver seeds, they get to use them too. Fair enough. I hate you. Hey, we got a reviver seed. Yay. Hope we don't run into many blast seeds. Blasted seed. After what we've been through, this will be nice and relaxing. You're new. At least I don't remember running into any, uh, Pinecos before. Yeah, that just leads into a circle of doom. So we shall move on. Man, you know what would be kind of interesting now? <laughs> now I almost want a fanfic that is, uh... Ah, you know all those fanfic ideas like, What if Luffy was sent back in time, back to his younger body, but he had all the information of his journey? Like, what if that, but with these characters? It's like, okay, we need to save the world, but we can't... J can we really just go and say, hey, we traveled through time, and I'd just be like, I am a human being who has become a Pokemon. I'm fairly certain that, that things aren't that unbelievable. And then Shane would go just like, yeah. And when everyone learned about that, they tried to kill you. But then we just go through, be super powerful. It's like, you can't do it, you're too weak. And it's just like, you know nothing about our power. <laughs> Even the forces that brought me here would be like, okay, what the hell is going on? Why is the human so powerful? Ideas for later, perhaps. But yeah, love this game. Love it so much. Like, I have no idea why somebody's just like, hey, we should have a, you know, that mystery dungeon format of game. What that but Pokemon? And then it got off the ground. I'm so happy. Because it's so good. That's overkill. <laughs> Shane, you did not need to shoot the seal. It did not deserve that harsh a death. Yeah. Hmm. Now I need to think. Maybe this should become a a chill game that I play, like uh, in between other games, because the post game could prob. I don't know how the post game functions actually. It could just be hey, randomly story happens, or it could be that specifically story happens after certain events. I don't know. We'll get a feel for how the post-game flows. And then we'll see. If the post-game flows like the normal game, woo! Super fast. Da, da, da. Shadow Ball, because I hate you. Just grabbing so many TMs.
<laughs> and another thing if the if the main team members went back in time with just their minds and had to do it all over again, they'd be like, I miss my scarf. Where's my stamina band? But then what other alterations would happen because we went back in time? What things would get stronger and harder? <laughs> Primal Groudon! <laughs> That would definitely be one of them. <laughs> a Team Magma member became a Pokemon. Hey, Chimeco. Interesting. But yeah, a, just a Team Magma member got sent into the Pokemon world and was just like, I shall awaken my lord. And everyone just be like, what are you doing? I'm awakening, my lord! And then that leads to... Primal Groudon. Beat up the Chime Echo! Beat up the Chime Echo! He's been mean! And when Chime Echo is mean, we crush it. No more dingling. Except for funeral bells. Wahahaha. <laughs> Our magical. Hey, a Zangoose! Kind of interesting that a lot of Pokemon that didn't appear in like the main story dungeons before are now popping up. Mainly, I guess maybe because they didn't want to have too many Pokemon that didn't have friend areas at the start of the game. You shall have this silver gummy. Weak type picker. You aren't special. I am special, and even I don't use a special band. Apple? Must be a crunchy apple, because it's here in the ice and snow. Ah, uh, I should have picked up a... Will you stop it, mate? Because that's one thing, now that we can probably recruit the legendary Pokemon, I probably should have tried and picked up the legendary birds. Uh, friend areas. We haven't run into a story or a, a mission room area yet. That worries me. Did I mess up? I probably messed up, and I forgot to put away my Ginseng. It also uh, a drink that boosts the power of the Pokemon Set move. Huh. I think that's the type of thing that you're supposed to use, like, at bosses, and then I just never brought it with me. I treated my power band like a ginseng, I guess. I am a fool. I am not- I am not smart when it comes to item economy. That's why I don't do the, uh, the TF2 marketplace. I'm not smart. How dare you. For your ignorance, die. Jesus. Three freaking death moves, and it's just like, no, 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 I don't want to die. No. What a jerk. Lots of Zangies today. I forgot to put on my stamina band again. I'm a fool. We've been going hungry. Because I forgot to wear my band. I forgot to wear my girdle. Even though that's not really a hu hunger thing, really. Eh, kind of works. Ah, destination floor time. Ooh, maybe I should, uh, br I should have brought x-ray specs. Maybe. Um, ooh. Swapping in and out X-ray specs and stamina band. Hello, Surviper. 
out eating uh, Zengis. Stop it. Munch, munch, apple time. And then we can take the apple seeds and turn the apple seeds into cyanide and murder people with them. We'll become the number one team of the world that way. Murder. Welcome to the headbutt game. Whose head's buddiest? Kill. Yeah, like that. Kill the fat man. Santa Claus will not exist any longer. There is a diddly dang. There you are. You have been found. Go home. Idiot. I would like to continue so that more murder may take place. Hmm. Max Elixir would be pretty good, actually. But what would we sacrifice for it? I guess the Link Box. Get out of here, Link Box. <laughs> that sounds like it would be the Xbox of the Pokemon world. Mom said it's my turn on the link box. Go, Shadow Ball. And now, punch them all. Haha, you missed. Die. Fool. I am the almighty Neon. Imagine that line, but said like the Star Fox 64 line. Fool, I am the great Leon. Yes? I don't... I honestly forget what we were going to be for, but uh, let's get out of here. Yes. Yay, stamina band. Hey, another Max Elixir. Weather Band? Interesting. Thank you for delivering the Reviver Seed. He stole our Reviver Seed. Didn't we do good today? Let's call it a night and get some rest. Okay, see you tomorrow. Yep, and now we have to hunt down Shane. If we want him on the team each day, which kind of bums me out. Not having my friend out here in the morning to greet me. <laughs> and after the whole bit of like leaving my friend and coming back to my friend is what made me cry. So it's just like coming back and being like, okay, now I'm gonna go into my friend area and you have to hunt me down and grab me is just like, yeah, it kind of killed my enthusiasm for the post game. New types of floor tiles. There have been numerous reports of new floor tiles other than water tiles. Believed to have been made by the recent natural disasters, these floor tiles remain hidden until they are stepped on. They can trigger a variety of traps. Rescue teams are urged to use extreme caution. And new friend areas. Oops, uh... New friend areas! The Wigglytuff Club has added new friend areas for sale. Rescue teams are urged to check with Wigglytuff for what is available. By adding to your friend areas, you can recruit Pokemon that wouldn't join your rescue team before. I already did that. But yeah. Let's see, can I bring... Come on, Shane, come join me. It appeared to have been worried, but it seems to have solved it. <laughs> Join me, Shane. Join me up here, too, please. Nope. Yep. And that's part of the reason why I disliked the post-game for this Pokemon Mystery Dungeon game. All of that 
friend, 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 we are here for you. Suddenly gone. Just really hits in a in a not the not that good way. <laughs> Okay, Vim, I've given up on trying to turn back into Snubbo. From now on, I'm living as Granbo. Pleased to meet you. Huh? What's that? Oh, you mean what happened at sea? I wasn't drowning! She started making up stories about me! Want to know what really happened? Sure. See, I went out to sea to frolic a while back. You know, I was trying that dive thing. So I was having fun going underwater. And I got washed out to sea a bit. All of a sudden, these wicked clouds rolled in, and before I knew it, there was a full-blown storm raging. There's more. A dungeon appeared in the sea. I was shocked witless. I got out of there fast. But who'd have guessed it? A dungeon in a stormy sea. Huh? You want to know more about that dungeon in the sea? I've amoosed it out of there, so I can't tell you much. I know. Maybe Wishcash could tell us something. Yeah, that Wishcash go talk. What's your rescue rank? How high you get? We're still normal rank. We're trying, but... I wonder what's higher than the gold rank. I can't imagine it. Our team got to the gold rank, but I think the rescue ranks go higher than that. Ah. For many years, countless Pokemon have served on rescue teams. Many have engraved their names in glory. But if anyone asks about the greatest of them all, there is one, but one hero. It's Lucario, whose exploits as a rescue leader are the stuff of legend. I aspire to become like Lucario. To become even closer to Lucario's greatness. That is my goal and my dream. La 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 la. I went into the cave, but I couldn't evolve into Butterfree. That's too bad, Metapod. But I bet but you weren't high enough lo in level, but let Metal. If you train and raise your level, I think you'll be able to evolve. Oh, so it's my level. I get it. I'll work on it leveling up. Ah, so you wish to know about the dungeon in the sea. I too have heard of it. I have heard of a place that is far off our coast. It is a sea churned by torrential storms and violent waves. It is a place appropriately named the Stormy Sea. There, there, one will find a dungeon that leads to the bottom of the sea. The sea is infinitely dark, and its death unimaginable. That is what I have heard. <laughs> you look eager to go. However, to go beneath the sea, a hidden machine named Dive is needed. Without Dive, you cannot go to the Stormy Sea. Ho 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 ho! Your face tells me you are desperate to go. So be it. You may have this. I understand that it is a very rare item that was found in a place called the Solar Cave. If you were to carry that hidden machine as an item, or if an, any team member wishing to enter the dungeon used that hidden machine to learn Dive, you would be able to enter the Stormy Sea. Woot! Beware, you must take the HM Dive, or a team member must learn Dive as a move before the team to enter. I don't think that I can evolve. I think evolving as Eevee. In fact, I'm going to quickly uh, look up proper evolution things. Just to see. Do 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 do. Some Pokemon merely level up or uh, evolve at levels. Let's see. Yeah. So Trico, my dear Shane, can already evolve if he so wanted to. But another thing that really annoyed me about this game is that 
Pokemon who evolve sometimes don't get evolutions. And then for Eevee, it's either the stones or IQ plus a specific item for Umbreon and Espeon. So yeah, I kind of don't want to uh, evolve... I kind of don't want to evolve Shane because... It gets... Uh, I know for a fact that Grovile and Sceptile actually don't have, uh, like, a uh, talking... Like that. You see that? That little, ooh, uh, dialogue icon box. Some evolutions don't have that. And that sucks. Like, I understand not having all Pokemon do it, but at least for, like, the partner and the hero... They should have talk boxes for all their versions. Maybe they fix that for uh, Rescue Team DX. That's another reason to check it out. Oh, hello. Did you know? Somewhere in the world, there's an extremely rare Pokemon named Chansey. This is what they say about Chansey. If you're lucky enough to meet one, you'll be filled with happiness. I wonder what sort of Pokemon it is. Wouldn't you like to meet one even once? Do, 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 do. La, 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 la. My team Hydro is bronze rank. We need to do better. Our team Rumble Rock is famous for savagery, but we're actually only normal rank. It's an embarrassment. I'm silver rank. Darlings, did you know every so often there are rescue jobs that reward you with a new friend area? Well, lately there have been rumors about a new friend area. The Sky Blue Plains, they say. Just maybe getting that friend area could be the start of something enchanting. Darlings, if you spot rescue team jobs that seem promising, you should try them. La 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 la. Just gravel rock for. A TM. I'll take you. Ah, shit, it's a... a lot of escort me to my loves. A lot of escort me's. And they basically want me to go all the way to the top of Sky Tower for them. <gasps> Fear. I guess I'll take that because it's A rank. Let me see. I do have another frosty forest. I guess I'll get rid of this Mount Thunder. Make room. Because, uh... La 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 and then I guess I'll get rid of this one. So many missions. Do I even have Aerial Ace? If not, I guess I'll have to do the Magma Cavern or do uh, Sky Tower. But yeah, that's mainly the main reason why I'm kind of eh on the... post-game, purely because there's so much that's just, oh... <laughs> small little things that kind of undermine the main story. The main story, I love. I love the main story to this game. But... Then it just kind of hurts when it's just like, oh yeah, your partner Pokemon doesn't walk around with you anymore. Oh yeah, your if you evolve, your stuff disappears, your icons disappear. And it just kind of is a little painful. But I think we went for a decent amount of time, and I'm all alone. My friend is not here. I think they fixed that for later ones. Like, again, I haven't done the post-game to Explorers either. But I'll continue doing post-game stuff for this. Maybe... No. 
I'll do a, another stream of uh, rescue, G rescue jobs, see if uh, anything happens. And if so, then I'll just do a decent amount of grinding on my own. Decent amount of just taking uh, requests for my own. And then we'll probably go and uh, do a, a stream. Like, it depends. If things happen or if I really like it, I'll continue uh, streaming just the rescues. Kind of grinding. And then if, uh, if not, I'll do them off screen. And then we'll do things like, ooh, the Stormy and, like, what other dungeons are there? Let's look. The Solar Cave, like, uh, explore those. And the Stormy Sea. And just, you know, see. But that'll be things to figure out. See how well the post-game plays out. And see how long it takes. In fact, while I'm here, I'm gonna see how long to beat. And see how <laughs> how long Blue Rescue uh, is on how long to beat. Completionist is 175 hours. Main plus extra is 43. I think we're at somewhere around 15. <laughs> so yeah, Completionist is then again, Completionist is probably every single partner Pokemon, every single friend area type thing. Me, I'm just like, uh, all main post-game story stuff, but I'm not sure how far that goes. Bleh. But that'll be a thing to discover later. But yeah, overall, when it comes to the main portion of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Blue Rescue Team, it is utterly fantastic. I'm a bit disappointed that they kind of shunted the partner Pokemon away. So it's like, ah, the player po the player might want to play his other Pokemon for team composition. Me, it just kind of killed my uh, super want to play the game. Along with, oh, you evolved your partner Pokemon so their icon doesn't appear anymore. And, uh, oh, you're an Eevee and you evolved, you don't have an icon anymore. Kind of annoying. Granted, the you don't really notice as much because you don't... Uh, diddly dee. But hey, you can also play as your partner Pokemon in this. And I'm not sure how the post game works for Explorers of Sky. So we'll have to see that someday. Someday, someday. But yeah. That will be it for now. I've been Neon Icy Wings, and this has been the end of the main portion of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Blue Rescue Team. Love the game, one of my favorite games, and uh, can't wait to give the post game a proper chance this time. But yes, I have been Neon Icy Wings. If you want more from me, you can hit up my main YouTube channel where I post edited content once in a blue moon, Neon Icy Wings at YouTube. Uh, or if you want, you can uh, watch archives of these streams so you can watch me play through games like Pokemon Yellow, Crystal, or Undertale, or Pokemon Legends Arceus. Uh, which I still need to do some post-game stuff for as well. Uh, Pokemon post-game, eating my soul! But yes, you can find that at YouTube Neon Icy Games. And if you're already watching one of those archived footages, you can watch me play these games live at twitch.tv Neon Icy Wings. And if you want to see me try to draw art from time to time, I post my art to Twitter, Tumblr, DeviantArt, Buzzly.art, and... New grounds, and I need to draw more, but I'm in that phase of, oh, I need to get better at art, but getting better at art is hard. Most of those sites are Neon Icy Wings, except for the Tumblr, which is Icy Wings Art Corner. But yes, I've been Neon Icy Wings, this has been Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Blue Rescue Team, and I hope to see you dudes next time. Bye. Bye.